uh, you made some accusations that came oh, out yeah. about uh, Game Changer Wrestling, Brett Lauderdale, uh, COVID shows every performer needed to have a positive, uh, negative COVID uh, test to yeah. perform on the show. Uh, the accusations came out. A few GCW wrestlers came and responded to that. Brett Lauderdale. Oh, wow. Uh, were there any of the GCW wrestlers that I said that did that? No, they weren't. Okay, but keep going. <laughs> uh, G Brett Lauderdale pretty much refused to comment. But, yeah. like, what what happened there? Like, what was the whole story behind that? Like, can you give us the break? Whole story. I, got, I helped Brett Lauderdale and GCW get their first venue here in L.A., I believe in 2018 when they did their first show in L.A. in that big warehouse where all the walls were white. I facilitated getting that why because i wanted to help game changer wrestling build a market not only in los angeles but also san diego because i helped to that i know that, that would benefit me right okay yeah fast forward i do five co-promoted events with them where i help with flights help bring their guys out but got them booked them down here in san diego even on shows where i barely made money why again i'm helping them build a, a market out here in la and in san diego so they can have a double shot out here Otherwise, he's flying all these guys out here for one show and they're dipping back. Follow me so far? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I do this co-promoted show with him uh, in September last year. And, um, you know, uh, basically there was a trade where he was just he was already, like I said, already flying his guys here and back. So I was like, hey, could you pay for the flights? I will pay for the live stream and we'll put it on the GCW YouTube page. That was the deal. He said, yes. We got like 25,000 people watching that shit live because it was free on the GCW uh, uh, page, YouTube page. So it was, that's what it was. So then I brought his guys back here in December. And all of a sudden, I got wrestlers from GCW saying that Brett says I'm cheap. Brett says that I'm, uh, you know, that I'm trying to get one over on him. I'm hearing this from some of the boys. And I'm like, where the fuck is this coming from? You know, Nick Gage is my friend. You know, and I'm like, Nick, where's this coming from? And, you know, and Nick didn't really have, a, a, you know, too much of an opinion. But, like, some of my boys, you know, some of the boys that might be, um, you know, not in first gear, not in third gear. I'll let you fill in the blanks. Are, are whispering to me about how it's a bunch of shit's being talked about me. So I was like, what the fuck? Um, you know, so blah, 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 that happens. I'm like, I ain't fucking, I ain't working with this guy anymore. He's, there's no reason to. Um, Then... This was December last year. So now, now get we get to uh, May of this year. And his L.A. fight shows, he uses a lot of the same guys that I do. And for the, this was the third time in like four months that he would hit up guys I had booked for months, hit them up the night before his show and go, hey, come do my show. And they would cancel their booking on me, which is, you know, shit happens. Yeah. But eventually I got tired of it. And I was like, all right, man. I just got it, it, it. How does this not feel personal? How does it not feel like now after a bunch of your boys are telling me that rumors are going around that I'm cheap, that I'm, you know, trying to get one over some shit, which again, I have no idea where that's coming from. That, uh, you know, like you're, you're trying to book, you, you know, who I got booked on my shows and you're taking them and asking me to be on your shows and they're taking it. You know, I can't be mad at them. It's an opportunity to wrestle in front of 40 people at an L.A. fight show to, you know, 17 people watching the live stream. It's a it's an opportunity, let me tell you. So I got pissed off and I was like, you know what? Fuck this motherfucker. I got dirt. I got dirt on this motherfucker. You know what? And I don't give a shit because you're, you're, you're going you, the promoter code. You don't do that shit. You don't book other people's dudes. So here's what I knew. And here's the first time I'm telling anybody exactly what the fuck happened. Okay. I was at a show October 2020 at this ranch out here in Orange County in, in California. There, there was a GCW show. I brought Sabu in to do these podcasts I did with him. So Brett was like, oh, can I use Sabu? Brett didn't give me no fucking money for a flight. Didn't give me no money for a hotel. I paid for all that shit for Sabu. All right. You know, anyway. So I'm at that show and I have somebody with me in my crew. Okay. That is a Photoshop genius all right so i find out at the show that brett said aloud hey does anybody know how to do photoshop and the person in my crew said i'm a fucking gangster at that shit so unbeknownst to me brett has this person make these things whatever you know i find out about it right 
you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, okay. And here's what I know for a fact. I know whatever wrestlers did, in fact, have fake COVID tests made for them. They didn't have them made for them. Brett, at, Brett, unbeknownst to those wrestlers, had them made because those wrestlers didn't have them. And instead of not booking these wrestlers, he had already flown out there. Brett took it upon himself to do some shady ass shit and get somebody to do that. That person I know. I know that person. I have no idea how to do Photoshop. I've never made no fucking nothing. Nothing. Right. So I knew all this shit. And then when Brett needed that again, Brett hit me up because he doesn't have a direct connection to this person. Ah, you know. So I made that connection again for Brett. Again, never made it anything. Never touched a fucking Photoshop file a day in my life. So, you know, Brett is out. You know, and here, here was the thing, too, man. He's out here painting himself a fucking, oh, I'm an outlaw. How the fuck can you be an outlaw when you're backstage at WrestleMania sucking Stephanie McMahon's dick on some comp she gave you? You know, fucking outlaw. You are the mainstream now, Brett. You know, I, I, whatever. You know, I worked with them. You know, like, eh, it didn't end up going well. And I'd still love to hear what the fuck I did. I don't, still don't know. But I just got sick of it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this dude. He's going to book my guys and they're going to cancel on me last minute. I have five matches. You take three of my guys. Now I got to find some three dudes that are not booked on a Saturday last minute that are deep, that are good. Come on, dude. So, you know, I, I just got sick and tired of that shit. And I called him out. Of course, he had nothing to say about it because he's fucking guilty, guilty. You know, I watched enough Law and Order. I know. Well, first of all, I know the truth. I have access to all the files, you know, so whatever. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's somebody that uh, takes advantage of people, you know, like he did the same shit to the guys that run, uh, you know, one of these new deathmatch promotions out there, you know, like look at all the guys that don't work there anymore. Look at all the deathmatch guys that work, don't work there anymore. You know, look at, you know, I don't know. So, you know, Bruce in the pudding fucking, you know, Brett Lauderdale is a fucking cocksucker, you know, um, whatever. But, you know, again, I stood up for myself and I wasn't going to let this fucking asshole push me around. And I was like, you know what? Fuck him. And it was really weird because it seemed like the Internet really took his side when, you know, clearly everything I said had something to back it up. Did you did you like speak to a lawyer or get any legal Fuck counsel no. before you came out with this sort of stuff? Because in, no. in a way, like, like it kind of implemented yourself. I incriminated myself. Nobody's coming after that shit. I give a fuck. Yeah, so I there's been no, there's been no legal recourse from have that. You smoked, so. Have you smoked weed somewhere where you don't supposed to smoke weed? Have you ever jaywalked? Fuck yeah, we break the rules all the time. Like you know, suck a dick. After the fact, I I did talk a couple lawyer my friend my friend lawyers, and they're like, if somebody comes after you for that, I'll give you a million dollars. You know, really? Nobody's coming, nobody's coming after you. no nobody is okay. Nobody is, and you know what? You know who who doesn't want anybody to come out about this more than anybody? Brett Lauderdale. Yeah. So where's it at now? Like, is it just sort of the, the whole it's thing? Dying? Dead. Yeah. Nobody gave a shit. He said nothing. Joey, Joey Janela and a couple other of his fucking little butt boys came out and, you know, were like, oh, he never did that for me. Well, hey, hmm. well, all those documents I put out, why didn't anybody ask any of those guys? But here's the thing. I'm telling you right now, it's a fact. None of those wrestlers knew fake COVID tests were being made for them. None of them. None of them. Brett did it by himself. You see what I'm saying? Brett was like, yeah. yo, I need this show to happen. I flew these guys in. I need to do something. Who knows how to do Photoshop? Hey, guys, don't worry about it. You're on the show. Why are they going to They going to ask what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Like, the they're, they're wrestling. They just want to get to the, the booking and go forward, you know, into the next show. <clears throat> Have you, like, once all this sort of stuff came out, was there, did you experience, like, lack of, like, getting canceled for bookings was there like you know what i mean like were bookings getting canceled for you like did you experience like backlash from it so immediately whiny demented the guy that runs icw i'm sorry is that his name whiny demented what danny demanto that him uh not whiny demented that's that's just what we call him uh yeah he can't he canceled me and then ian rotten's fucking ripping off bitch ass fucking canceled me but let me tell you, uh, you're not can't. I, I'm not that worried about being canceled from hundred dollar bookings, dude. 
Like I'm, I'm working with XPW, the top deathmatch promotion in the United States by far. And we're only getting bigger and better. So, you know, um, yeah, whiny.